Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over the quarterfinal games versus SCMN in the Queso Cup. And this one was a super intense series, so you're not going to want to miss a single game. But either way, guys, I haven't been posting as much Poe gameplay on the channel. And if you guys want to see more, make sure to let me know in the comments below. I'll start posting, you know, way more pro gameplay. And uh, whether we win or lose, I'll, I'll post it either way. So again, let me know in the comments down below. But either way, let's hop into the games. All right, guys, hopping into the first one here on Ring of Fire. Now, honestly, guys, I really do hate Ring of Fire. This is one of the maps that, you know, we've lost a lot on, to be honest. Uh, and it's not one of our best maps, but we've been practicing it a lot. And uh, I think we proved quite a bit here. But either way, we're going to be, you might see a little bit of different from uh, the normal pro gameplay. We are, we are rewatching the stream. I did not have the games in my battle log. But either way, in this game, the bands are going to be Sprout, Crow, and Stu, and Buzz. So again, yeah, they usually always just ban Sprout versus us. And uh, I mean, Stu, Buzz, very annoying brawlers to deal with, very OP brawlers. So we're just going to ban them. And uh, here we go. So again, we're up about 10% right now, and they're running a double healer comp, which is actually really, really strong if we do not hit shots in the mid. Otherwise, they're just going to be able to run over us and take control of the game, as well as they're just going to be able to get a huge, huge lead if they get that mid control uh, but either way we have our porters really early which is nice czar is in a very very good spot here in this top right corner this is probably the best spot in the entire game because it is very very hard to take someone out there but you can see that our porters help us so much in pushing him back so he does lose the control that he had and tyrants in the exact same position you can see how important this position is because you can pinch them so easily in the mid as well as you hold a very nice power position again you can see that super potential you can just take them out there and again they do have a pam turret but that is going to go down very very quickly with the help of zuan and tyron over there and again we have another porters ready to go so but honestly we're probably never going to even have to bother we placed it so far back that way it would never get destroyed nice shot from zuan helps us pinch and take out czar there very important kill otherwise it's going to be really tough for us to deal with but we are at a huge lead right now and all we need to do is slowly get control a very nice super from tyrant puts og extremely low and once we get one more kill inside of this game we can really look to finally get the last little bit of percentage in the hot zone and we can basically lock this game down so you can see that og is very very low this is the time to push up and as well as we get another kill onto uh bobby there as the byron and we're looking really really solid we only need 10 per percent more so we're really just trying to stay in this zone as long as possible i'm honestly just going to drop my porters and use my porters to tank as long as possible and i do get the last couple percentage so we're going to win that game all right hopping into game two here now we went some pretty crazy uh very variation of a comp we went byron primo mr p and uh they went just max uh poco mortis so honestly this comp is really hard for us to deal with you can see that once bobby just starts going for us we do get the kill there early and we get our porters early but you can see that tyrant's gonna have a difficult time taking out the max and the poco as well as we're gonna have a very difficult time taking out the mortis just me and byron and you can see once here uh, bobby starts just to go going in and uh, there's really nothing we can do there's a mortis behind us and we're just a mr p by ourselves i know he was weak but there's really nothing we can do i'm just trying to desperately tag him go for the mid and uh honestly this game is super chaotic because of mortis and there's really not much we can do this is really up to tyrant just to like 1v3 this game and you can see how hard it is actually for him just uh, max just dashes out as well as they have speed so it's not that easy for him as usual as primo if they're just you know regular speed brawlers it's much easier for him to deal with but again you can see that he's going to be jumping mid and there's really nothing he can do they do a very good job of taking him out and again we're just struggling to deal with the mortis in the back line so we can't even support tyrant in the mid and they're just collecting time and this game ended super fast and uh, they locked that one down very solid comp all right guys hopping into the third game here on Hanzo. Now we went this pretty interesting comp. We went Pam Jean Ruffs and we all have some sort of healing. I have a very small healing that will slowly increase our HP. Jean's healing will keep us you know healthy as well as Tyrant just has turrets and the heal star power that when he hits people we will also get a little bit of HP here. So again a little bit of a rough start for us. Honestly they hit some nice shots at the start. They used a lot of their gadgets. You can see that Spike's gadget is really uh, really good on this map but he only has three so the good thing is that we can take them out pretty quickly 
and uh, you can see all of our healing in the mid here. We're just trying to get some time as well, but Zul uh, Zar gets a nice shot onto Tyrant, taking him down, so it's now only me and Zuan left in the mid, but you can see how annoying Jean can be, stopping Bobby's healing from such a far range, and there's really nothing Bobby can do unless he hits like every shot inside the game. Now, we're going to be trying to push up this right side against Zar. We finally get our super, and we're going to be giving that to the Pam, making Pam very, very hard to kill, and uh, we're just slowly collecting more and more time. They really don't have almost... They almost don't have enough DPS to take us out. They really have to hit a lot of their shots. And this is the whole point of the comp. If they don't hit shots, we're going to end up winning this game. And uh, there's really nothing to do about it. So we do get curveball there. We have to back up. But again, we have such a big lead at this point. It's really hard for them to push up safely, at least, because you can see right here, Bobby pushes up and he gets almost one shot just by Pam, which is kind of crazy. And either way, we give another power up to Zuan here. I am going to go down here, I believe. But Zuan just shoots backwards one time, get that kill onto Zar. And again, we are looking pretty solid. We're collecting more and more time, but they're hitting some nice shots and uh, they're slowly pushing us outside of the mid. And now Bob, uh, OG is going to push up this side, forcing us to kind of go to this right side. And we are getting tagged now. So they do have full control. This is their time to, you know, lock it down, get so much percent uh, versus us. Uh, but again, we have such a huge lead that all we need really is one kill and uh, one sort of play. Now we are going to go pretty low here, but again, it's not too bad because we start having power ups. We have the heal from the turret. Tyron is going to use the gadget just to take away some ammo. And uh, again, that gadget is pretty OP as well, guys. The Pam gadget is kind of ridiculous. And uh, they do a good job of keeping us out, not panicking for the zone. And they slowly push us back into our spawn again. So we, again, have Gene pull. And we also just, you know, have a lot of HP to come back. But they, again, hitting a lot of shots, forcing us in our base here. And uh, finally, we can start moving up because, well, they are pretty low. Again, it's really hard for them to stay healthy versus a Gene Pam from such far range. And we're just going to win that game again. I think we had a very, very solid comp of that game around. And we're going to win that game. We're going to win the first set two to one. So let's hop into the next set. All right, guys, hopping into the next one here on double swoosh. Now we are going to be running Gene, Amber and Spike, and they're going to be running Bell, Amber and Gene, which are again, both pretty, pretty good comps. Honestly, I don't really know which one is better. I think both of them have their advantages and disadvantages, but either way, we're going to be running Spike here and we're going to be poking down Zar. And honestly, guys, if you cannot dodge curveball, this matchup is very, very hard. Uh, it's really, really hard to deal with if you can't dodge it consistently. And I don't know many people that can dodge it consistently. I know OG is really good at dodging it. Zuan is really, really good at dodging curveball consistently. And uh, it's something that's really hard to do. But either way, we won that matchup, but we did go down. They did trade kills. And Tyron is in a nice position here, trying to sneak on Zar while we go mid. And we kind of wasted our super there. Not a big deal. As well as we put a uh, spike gadget down in the mid, guys. And this is honestly a really stupid thing to do. I put the gadget down in the mid to sort of protect Tyrant from the pull, but you can see here that OG just shoots it once and it starts bouncing between Tyrant and the, the cactus. So I wasn't quite thinking there. I was thinking more so just protect Tyrant from the pull because I don't need the gadget anyway against Amber. The gadget is not gonna do me any good. Zuan is doing a good job on this left side, getting OG on fire. He is marked now, so it's gonna be a little bit tougher for him, but we do have pull as well as Bobby has pull here. So now Tyrant has to play very, very safe. We are the ones that have to push up and get sort of control for our team. And here goes, uh, we're just gonna push up onto Bobby. That way Tyrant has the easiest job just to grab the gems and he can get out. And we do a nice job of getting that control for Tyrant. Tyrant's gonna get a one last pull basically lock down this game. There's really no way they come back unless they hit some sort of crazy pull from Bobby if Tyrant oversteps somehow. But either way, we're going to win that first game and uh, let's hop in the next one. All right, guys, hopping into game two here on Double Swoosh. Now, again, they're just going to switch it up. You're going to see OG going on to the Amber and you can see OG is very, very good at dodging curveball. He also catches me a little bit off guard there and gets some nice damage. Now, this matchup, Amber versus Spike, again, it's pretty even if you can dodge curveball, but consistently, I still would say it's definitely favored for the Spike, uh, but you can see that Amber is just gonna destroy my grass here pretty quickly, make it a little bit tougher. OG is playing it very, very well. I do even get caught on fire. I think we trade the kill, but again, it's definitely not in favor of me. Now, Zuan, I believe, has a really tough matchup versus Spike, uh, even though he has the aliens to like protect himself. It is still a pretty hard matchup, uh, but either way, I believe that so far we're really losing this game. They do have gene pull, which is going to be tough. Tyrant has to play safe already, which is not ideal. Now we're slowly just trying to get this Tara super. Once we get Tara super, this game becomes a lot easier for us. But again, the early game is going to be tough and we did get punished pretty early. Uh, but you can see that so many gems are in the mid and it's because no one wants to be the one to pick them up, get pulled and lose the game. 
Uh, we're slowly picking up a couple here and there when we can. Tyron is picking up a couple you love to see. I do get caught on fire again there, which is a little bit unfortunate. And again, we're really low versus OG. And you can see he's not even getting hit by any curveballs, which is really annoying to deal with because, well, I can't even put him low. And again, he's going to be lighting up the mid as well. So it's going to make Tyron's job even harder. And I'm trying to win this lane. We're starting to finally hit a couple curveballs. I mean, it's just complete luck whether he dodges it or not. But again, trying our best to push up. I put a gadget there to uh, to potentially use it to block the gene pull but he does go for tyrant and misses so this is a very good opportunity for us to push up and uh, zulon does go down but we were able to grab a ton of gems here keeping the game very very close because of the fact that bobby did miss pull so again tyrant has pull and it is really threatening for anyone to go grab these gems because otherwise if they get pulled, the game's basically over. And this is the one thing about this map that I really dislike with Gene in play. It's very, very scary just to grab gems. It kind of just depends, you know, who has Gene pull, who doesn't, uh, and who has control of the lane. So either way, we are still very close, nine to eight gems. And uh, we're trying to make some uh, something work on this right side. It's so much easier if we get control of one of the sides. Zulon does have pull here, but again, they have full control. We do have a couple of gems on our side. The cactus actually saves Tyrant, which was so huge. Tyrant probably would have got pulled. We do tie the countdown. This game is super intense here. I overextend. That was a big mistake by me for overextending there. I do get punished. And now they get control of this right lane. But you can see Tyrant hits the pull onto the OG. This kill probably saves the game. Zuan also gets a kill on the left. And now Bobby is the only one left into the mid and Zuan is not wasting no time pushing up as well as we're finally back in the mix. We do get a kill on Bobby as well as we have another Tara pull locking down this game. And honestly, guys, if you had, if I had to say a game or a, a play that saved this game was the pull onto OG, making it so that, you know, it was an even matchup between just Gene's mid. Otherwise, it had been a 2v1 versus Tyrant, and there's really nothing Tyrant could have been, could have done. So we do get that win, and uh, we are up 2-0 to zero in sets. All right, guys, hopping into the third set here on Brawl Ball. Now, we are running a pretty uh, well-rounded comp with Gene, Spike, and Bell. We are pretty much able to deal with any sort of comp that they throw at us, and uh, we are hitting some nice shots. We have full control right away here with a Gene pull, and this is really a good opportunity for us to score. Now, we're going to take our time here. I think this is something that we do very often is we panic, and we try too hard to get some kills or get some goals, but we're looking pretty solid here. We're going to be able to get a kill onto Bobby, and this is going to be able to, or this is going to be a goal here as we get a team wipe we're going to score as well as we have gene pull again so again i really like this comp from us and it's really hard for the primo to do anything especially if we're grouped up and you can see that byron's going to be healing the primo this is a really strong strategy tyrant with a beautiful pull onto the uh byron that way uh, bobby can no longer get any more healings but he is going to be able to do a decent job almost taking out zuan here and our job now is just to slowly get back control. They only have Zar left. We're going to be pushing up the map as soon as possible. And uh, we're looking pretty, pretty solid here uh, with the ball. You know, going to be pushing it up as soon as we can on this right side. Now, Bobby does have jump, which is something to keep in mind. You'll see I've been playing around my trap. That way, if he does jump on me, he will probably be slowed at least. I do mark him as soon as possible. Though This was a really close attempt. Almost went in, but Tyrant was there to uh, bounce him off the ball as soon as he landed on it. If you miss time that, he's just going to be able to score. Or if he actually landed on the ball, he'd have just been able to score really, really quickly. And that is the scary part about Primo and Brawl Ball, guys. There's really nothing you can do if you miss time something like that you have to execute it perfectly and again we are in a pretty solid spot at this point but again it's very very scary that primo does have jump we have to be careful we're going to mark primo as soon as possible he's going to jump on us he's going to go down pretty quickly because we did have mark and uh, we you can see how we're grouped here we want to be grouped for the primo but every time the primo is dead we want to be able to split up and that way we can get control back of the mid and we're looking pretty solid with only 25 seconds left. They have to make some sort of play for this ball. You can see uh, Bobby is just going to go super aggressive. We're going to go super aggressive on OG, take out OG, as well as Mark and be able to take out Bobby. This is going to basically lock down the game for us. There's really no way that they come back in this game. We do have the ball cornered and uh, they have to, you know, somehow get the ball and be able to score. Uh, but there's just no way and no time. So we're going to win this first game of Brawl Ball. We are on match point. Uh, so let's hop in the next game. All right, guys, hopping into it on game two on Brawl Ball. Now, we are going to be running the Byron Primo comp. Again, it's really, really strong, honestly. I think it's, you know, super hard to deal with. And uh, it's basically, there's not that many counters. Now, Zuan does go down as well as Tyrant is going to go pretty low. They are doing a good job of pinching Tyrant. 
He almost scores. I think he could have scored on that right side. We could have probably got the first goal there. Uh, but, you know, it does happen and there's nothing really we can do about it at this point. We do get pinched there. And now we are put in a tough spot. You do not want to be spawn trapped with this comp. You want to be the ones to spawn trap. And they do waste no time punishing us. And you see Zark gets a nice super goal. And now we are down 1-0. So this is going to make it really, really tough. And now I get tagged. So I have to be very, very careful. Tyron is going to go in. We're going to try to heal Tyron as much as possible. But Tyron goes down pretty quickly. Zuan is pushed up. But he's going to be able to be taken out very quickly as well as we get curveballed. We're going to go down, and there's really going to be hard for Tyron to defend 1v3. He's doing his best. He does get the ball in the corner, which is important. Zuan gets tagged. Zuan's going to go down instantly. We're going to be able to take out OG, but this is going to be the game. There's nothing really... Oh, actually, I forgot. Yeah, Tyron does have super to be able to stop it, but unfortunately, he doesn't even get the kill, and they're just going to be able to poke away his HP again, and we're still put in a really, really tough spot with no sort of control. And uh, we're just going to have to slowly, you know, wait until Tyron gets a very nice super, takes out a kill, or if Zuan gets pulled. Those are really only our entry points of, like, getting any sort of control. And uh, Tyron, you can see, is going to be struggling versus the spike matchup. It's, OG is threatening to score, which is putting us in a weird spot. Tyron does jump, gets the kill. And uh, here I should have been healing him a little bit more. But again, I had the ball, and it was a really weird uh, situation. But again, we finally are starting to push up. There's one of them dead. Uh, I should be healing him more here. I missed a couple shots, which is not ideal. I should have definitely been healing him more, but as well as Zuan goes down, I get sniped. So I should not have died there. Tyrant's just going to jump in for a last ditch save effort. They're going to win that game. They played that really well, missing barely any shots. And uh, it's going to be 1-1 in the Brawl Ball set. All right, guys, hopping into game three here. Now, we went back to our first comp, and they're going to be running a Mortis Spike Gene comp, which is really... A lot of aggressive uh, brawlers that are really hard to deal with but we do a good job at the start we take out mortis we take out primo as well as we take out the poco tyron gets a nice pull onto the primo unfortunately we don't take him out quick enough and he gets super which is the the worst thing about it is the primo will get super whether you hit him or if you hit him so makes it a little bit tougher we do have uh mortis coming in mortis does a lot of damage gets his super which is again another scary thing you got to think about Zuan goes for the goal attempt. I think this was, you know, a little bit too early. I think we should have held control a little bit more. And now it leaves me and Tyrant to try to deal with, you know, the Primo Mortis by ourselves. And you can see Primo's just going to run us down. We're going to get killed. Tyrant is left by himself trying to do the best he can. Now, again, you can see how much uh, aggressiveness they have. And Mortis is just going to be able to score that goal. And I think we just rushed that goal too quickly. We should have took our time a little bit more, grouped up and slowly took them out. But you know what? It's not the end of the world. We do get a nice pull onto the Primo. We're starting to hit some shots there are one man down this is the time we want to push up but you can see again mortis just doing mortis things being super annoying mortis actually stays alive with 52 hp we do ignore for a little bit but we can't ignore forever primo gets another jump and uh again just primo running us over and there's really nothing we can do i mean we have to be able to be we have to play that perfect uh we primo does get slowed on this right side but again he has jump and you can see this is a really scary spot for the ball there's really not much we can do. We almost timed it. Tyron had to have pulled him as soon as he landed. Uh, but again, nice goal from Bobby. Really hard to stop for us. And uh, they had a really good uh, comp and they played it pretty good. So they're going to win that set. We're going to go into the fourth set. All right, guys, hopping into the fourth set here. Now we're going to be going Gene, Sandy, and Mortis. And they're going to be going Gene, Sandy, Barley. So I like that we got the matchup we want. We do take out OG on this left side here. And we do get that bolt as well. Zuan gets a nice pull. We have a great start to this game. Tyron got the bolt on the right side as well. That's the main point of Mortis is to secure that first bolt as well as if they do have throwers. Makes it really, really hard for the thrower to play the game. The thrower has to be very, very careful of the mortis and i mean it's really hard to do i mean mortis could just dash across the entire map and take out the barley and there's really nothing zara can do uh but either way we are looking really solid here we do get the first spot we have all the bolts as well and uh, we're just gonna back out here we get a little bit of damage nothing crazy but again we have full control as well as we have a sandy super and a gene pull zuan wastes no time hits the pull onto bobby tyron is gonna go in he does get stunned but i believe he's still gonna be able to do work gets that kill and so far, there's really not there. They can't really get any sort of control yet. They are trying to with a barley super to push up. We still have every single bolt in the game. And uh, we're looking really, really solid. Again, another gene pull from Zuan here ready to go. As well as they have gene pull, which is a little bit scary. Uh, we are trying to you know, bait out the pull as much as possible, but it is really hard to do. Now, I used my gadget here to kind of threaten, but I really did nothing, to be honest. And I used it onto the barley, but Zuan pulled the barley anyway. And uh, we are looking pretty, pretty solid here. We still have a three-bolt advantage. 
But you can see, I think I gave Sandy super here, which was really bad on my end. And now they have, you know, some sort of way of coming back into the mid. Bobby hits a super nice pull onto Zuan, and this is kind of allows them to come back in. Tyron is going to do the best he can here. He almost, he probably could have almost got a triple kill if OG didn't stun him. So good stun from OG. We do have a gene pull, and they are catching up in bolts very, very quickly. Bobby gets another nice pull onto Zuan, and uh, at this point, I think they lock down the bot. We do kill him there. And uh, we can't tie it. We don't have enough time to tie it. So we do lose this. So this is getting a little bit scary. We don't have the best defense in the game. And our job is to, you know, Tyrant's going to be going on to the Barley. And we're going to be trying to defend this the best we can while using the Gene healing. So we're going to be tanking it for the Gene. Now, Gene does get pulled, which is very important. We're going to pull it as far as away as possible. And they're going to be tanking a lot in the mid. We take them down as well as we are defending this the best we can. Tyrant respawns. And uh, we do get the defense. I think we played that defense perfectly and we were able to somehow win that game i thought that game was lost but we do get the win just barely so uh, again match point hopping in the next game all right guys hopping into the next game we are going more to dynamite sandy now people are gonna be like why are you going uh, dynamite dynamite is honestly a really good option here now i go for the bolt and uh, i'm gonna rewind that I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the bolt here and this is a huge mistake i was really trying to get this bolt because we want to win this first one really badly here i even popped my gadget but bobby comes over and hits me pretty hard there and it's quite unfortunate uh, and they do get the bolt on the left side because they get double teamed. So this is a really bad start for us. We really wanted the first bot with this comp. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really difficult. And uh, we are not looking the best here. So they do get the first one. We do have some sort of defense with Dynamite. And guys, again, this is not a troll comp. This is legitimately, I think it's a very good option on Siege. Dynamite has the potential to pop off. You see right here, look at that super, just one shots OG. And OG just misstepped by like a little bit. There's really nothing OG can do he just stepped a little too far got into zuan range and just gets taken out again it's really hard. it's not even fun to play against when uh, uh when a dynamite has super like that you have to be very very careful and you can see that how much uh threatening power he has og has to play very very safe and has to be very con look at look at this he just gets one shot and he can't play the game that's why I think Dynamite has the potential to be very, very good. Uh, but either way, we are still struggling. They are still locking down this left side, getting most of the bolts. So we're losing here. And uh, they have full control with a Sandy Super, I believe. I don't think this is our Sandy Super. And we are going to be forced to defend this the best we can. And it's going to be really, really tough. We do stun the bot uh, and get it pretty low here. Tyrant does a nice job of taking two out onto the push, which kind of saves the game for us here. And uh, we have the potential to come back here. So again, Dynamite does a ton of damage on offense. So we do have a Sandy Super as well. We're looking pretty solid here. Again, though, they have a gene pull, which is so scary for me in the mid. I'm so scared to get pulled here, and there's really... I don't know how to play it exactly, and I'm trying my best here. I almost take out Bobby. Bobby could have pulled me, but I don't think he had that much ammo, and we are getting tapped here, so Zuan goes down as well, and I think I'm going to go down here, uh, and that was a bad time to go down. I died before the push. We do get the bot, uh, but again, they have the control, and they are defending this right away. You can see that OG is starting to hit the, th uh, the Ike as soon as possible. It's already down to 60-something percent. He has two gadgets on the defense, and Zuan is up here now. Uh, Bobby's also going to pull, and I uh, we try to take out Bobby as soon as possible. We have to take out Zar and the Spike. And at this point, the Ike is already dead. We're just trying our best to get any sort of damage. We get a decent amount of damage, but they played that def defense almost perfectly as well. So they're going to get that win. We had a slight opening chance to win that game, and uh, they shut it down on us. So we're going to go 1-1 one, one in the Siege set, hopping into the next one. All right, guys, hopping into the third game on Siege. Now, we went Barley, and they went Triple Tank. Ah, uh, this was so hard for me to play. This game is really, really difficult for me. You'll see eventually that they get so much uh, stuff. Now, OG gets a very nice stun onto Zuan here, and they're going to get the first bot. It's, it's almost impossible for us to get the first bot. We do get a kill onto Bobby there, and we do pick up that bolt, which is huge. But you can see Zar is just threatening me so much. It's really hard for me to deal with. Uh, but we do have a gene pull as well as a mortis super. The entire honestly pops off this game, you know, kind of carrying and you see that Zuan push uh, pulls the bot and the reason being is because you can see Frank and Primo have super and this is really hard to defend you see that they stun the Ike they're jumping in they deal a ton of damage 
And uh, we're going to have a real hard time defending this. We're trying our best. We don't have enough defense. And uh, they went all in the first push. They did 70%. And we used everything. We didn't even hesitate to use everything. Because we knew that they were probably going to go all in with this comp. Because they deal so much damage. Uh, now we knew we had to win this bot. Or else we just lose the game. And so we're going all in for these bolts. Tyrant is going to try to get that bolt. Unfortunately OG picks it up. And uh, he's still you know, doing a great job cycling bats. Uh, Zuan with a nice pull onto Bobby killing him for the defense now we go we decided right here that we need to go all in so we're going to be able to you know keep the mortis off of me here very important and uh, i'm going to super the safe and this is the time we're going all in we called it right here right now we have to go all in. we have to win this game basically right here we're shooting the safe as much as possible we're going to pop a gadget to heal tyrant is going to cycle the bats onto the safe i do go down there zuan is kind of forced back from the mortis and they live with 16 percent onto the safe so this is now in a situation where we need to dive and it's really, really hard for me to push up versus triple tank. I need basically some sort of like team wipe or kill and it has to start with like a gene pull basically. But you can see, look at Mortis just threatening. Nothing really I can do. Zuan tries to pull the Mortis off. We do get the kill, but I had to use my super to get the kill to stay alive. We're still trying to push up. Bobby has super and he's just going to super me. There's no way for me to get even close to the safe. And uh, this is the really hard part about running a Barley versus a Triple Tank comp. This is why Triple Tank is so good. You can see we're desperately trying to still defend this. We pull the Ike and uh, Bobby just going to jump in. They're, they're going to win that game. And uh, we almost won that on the one push. But uh, we were unfortunately not able to finish off the safe. So they win the next two. They won the last two sets, forcing us to a final set in Shooting Star. So let's hop into it. I guess hopping into the first game here on Shooting Star. Now they're going to be running the very traditional Tick Nanny Piper comp. Now this comp is very, very solid. Uh, we're just going to switch things up a little bit. We're going to be running Brock, Gene. And again, this comp is, you know, basically, again, very... Uh, very very solid as well uh, but either way we're going to be using both of our big rockets to destroy the mid walls that way tick you know can't really push into the mid and uh so far not too bad again they are winning from the blue star at the start but again the blue star is just one star lead there's uh, uh, pretty much there's going to be for sure kills in this game you can see tyrant is going to go for the nanny unfortunately zuan's or czar is going to be able to stay alive there uh zuan's going to stay alive from the curveball as well so again this game is pretty pretty close uh, everybody's living on a little bit of hp and the game is intense now czar has a super and uh, it's going for us you can't really see here now i put in a really tough spot i dodged the nanny hit but unfortunately got curveballed so at least i wasted a curveball from or or i we at least wasted a curveball from bobby uh and dodged the nanny head so again we're still losing here we do have the blue star now which is huge zulon got a nice pull there and uh we are down one kill basically so it only needs one kill tyrant does have super and uh we need to protect tyrant as much as possible you can see czar is going for it and we're going to be able to shoot at czar here he does get a nice uh, we do get a nice big rocket onto Zar, but uh, also Tyrant goes down. So we're still losing this game by one kill. This game is very, very close. Both teams are getting kills. Uh, Bobby's going to miss the curveball there, and it's going to be really, really intense here. So here comes another tick head or nanny head from Zar, excuse me. We are able to dodge it. We do hit OG, forcing him to back up. We only have 10 seconds left. We just need one kill here. Now I almost go down to that tick mine. I'm forced back. And again, we still have only a little bit of time. I get tagged again here, and this is looking pretty solid or pretty bad here and uh guys i'm honestly gonna slow mo this down just because of how intense this was all right so here you can see we have eight seconds left we are still losing by one kill here so we are getting tagged a ton we are in the top right we're not even really close to the fight we are so low zuan is doing a good job and uh, Tyrant is super low he actually gets a kill onto og but i died from czar and guys that we lose that game it was a, honestly a mistake from me uh, but it's a really really hard scenario i think it's just you know we're forced to get a kill everybody feels pressure to push up and i was so low hp i honestly should have just backed up and hoped that my teammates got the kill but i did die and uh, they do get that win it was a nice shot from czar to hit us hit me in the back and they secure that first game win so either way let's get in the next one all right guys hopping into game two here now again we're gonna run it back we're gonna run the same comp uh and again i think this comp is you know pretty even with uh the other one i think either team can win this game so either way we're gonna use both big rockets to destroy the mid again because they are running a thrower we want to be able to open up that map that way the thrower is much more threatened uh but either way 
Again, they're going to get the blue star. There's nothing really we can do about it at the start. We do get hit. We dodge the curveball, stay alive. They're very important that we stay alive, that we don't get, you know, run down. And again, Tyrant's going to be able to, you know, almost get a kill, but he's going to go pretty low. He's pushing up, which is nice. And we're in a really good spot at this point. Zuan's playing very aggressive, which you love to see. We do get a kill onto Zar, giving us the lead, which is nice. And finally here, we're playing with the lead. It's much easier to play with a lead on this map. And uh, but again, it's not a very safe lead. Once Nanny gets head, it's going to be really difficult. Or if Piper gets a nice curveball. Now you can see Tyrant's Nanny head coming in and they're going to do their best they can with, to deal with it. And unfortunately, he is not going to be able to get a kill. Teams have got so much better at dodging Nanny head. Uh, so either way, now Zar has a Nanny head and this is going to be pretty intense. So again, we're going to have to dodge out this Nanny head while, you know, worrying about the oncoming pressure from OG and Bobby. So you can see Zuan's trying to tank it and it forces uh, the Nanny head to try to dodge Zuan because Zuan, or Zar does not want to hit Zuan, excuse me, because he's not going to get the kill. He's trying to hit me and uh, I just play around that and I am able to dodge it. So either way this game is pretty intense right now we are still only up one kill and uh, again very slow game uh, but again it is very very close any sort of mistake from one player is going to cost the game here and uh, we're looking for another kill here it does kill uh, Bobby so that is a huge kill it's gonna make it really tough for them to come back I do miss the last big rocket and uh, we do get a kill onto OG as well as we get a kill onto Zar. that's gonna lock down the second game we're gonna win the second game so let's hop into double match point all right, guys, hopping into the last game. Now, whoever wins this game is going to move on to face IX. So either way, we're going to be running uh, the the natural or the standard comp on this map, the comp that they've been running the entire time. We just switched it out. We're going to run tick as well. And uh, we're pretty comfortable with this comp as well. So, you know, this is just going to be a complete mirror match and uh, it's going to get intense here soon. So either way, we are looking to grab this blue star in the mid. The blue star is very, very important, but I do not want to overextend for it because if I get punished, uh, it's not going to be good. If I die, it's really, really bad. So again, Tyrant's going to push up. That's going to be able or able for us to grab that star. Now, Tyrant is going to go down, so it's not great trade. We do lose Tyrant's life, but we do get the blue star at least. So it's not the end of the world. But either way, we're still back into this game, and it's not a bad, uh, big deal. Tyrant is close to Nanny Head, and these are the big things you have to keep an eye for. Nanny Head, as well as like Piper Curveballs, those are the main uh, things that are going to get kills inside of this map. So either way... Again, me and OG are just kind of, you know, just shooting each other in the mid. Tyrant is going to go for Zar here. He gets a nice kill onto Zar. Uh, Zar was not able to pop a gadget in time or something. But either way, Zuan gets killed here on the left. But again, we have the blue star. And you can see how much important the blue star is in this map. Uh, we are able to keep the lead here. And uh, we actually get a kill onto OG. But zuan dies as well so we hit og at the same exact time me and zuan and he wasn't able to pop the gadget quick enough it was it's really hard to do as a tick uh but either way you can see the nanny head coming he does miss zuan it was really close that hit the wall but you know there is an explosion radius on the wall so it almost takes out zuan and uh, we are looking very very close here in this last 10 seconds all they need is one kill to lock this game down and uh, zar is going to go pretty low here and uh, tyron is going to be able to push up onto zar on this right side but again Bobby's coming in. He probably even has a curveball, but he, we do get that kill. And we're able to win this game, guys. So we do win 3-2. to two. All right, guys, so we do win 3-2 to two versus Stamina. Now, this was a super intense series. It came down to the last game, last set. And, guys, it always is a very good game versus Stamina. So either way, it's GG's to Stamina. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for the video. Now, if you did enjoy, make sure to like, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and I'll hope to see you in the next one. Peace.